Hey guys, it's Hugh here, and I have a little lesson that I want to share with you today, and it kind of came up by way of uh, Rashida Mendes, who is one of our newer members in the Unlimited Software Membership. And she's got a nice, successful website here, and uh, I think she works with Harlan, and she's got this super site, she's bringing traffic to it. And she had a little pl uh, conflict with a plug in and asked me to take a look at it and it turns out there was uh, basically an image loading or an image caching plug in that was conflicting with some of our with our plug in so I turned that off and I asked her you know why were you using that plug in it's it's called uh, lazy something or other um, lazy image loader or something okay so um, the reason that she was using the plugin was because she, her website was loading very, very slowly. Okay, so I wanted to help her out with that. So I said, so let me see why this website is loading so slowly that she would think she needed to have a plugin to do some kind of a lazy load of images. So I took a look. And I decided to just look at some posts to see what she has. So she has an image here. And I wanted to learn, like, how big is the image to start out with. So I went to expect, inspect element. There's other ways that you can do this. But I'm just going to inspect element in Chrome. And that shows me the, uh, the image here, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and click on that link. And then it goes into Chrome and gives me some information about it. And I can see that this image is 75.3 K bytes. That is a very large image size. Unless, you know, you got some really quite a nice photo on that page. There's no way on earth that I would ever permit myself to have an image of a file that size of 75 K bytes. And I want an image this size to be at most you know 30k bytes if I can get away with that so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and save this image to my disk and I'm gonna show you how to make that image smaller that file smaller the image will be the same size and hopefully look just about as good but we're gonna reduce that file size so I'm gonna go ahead and just save it on my desktop here and then I'm gonna go to Photoshop and I know Photoshop is a paid program that you might not be able to afford, or hopefully you could, but if you can, I'm going to try to find a free resource to do this with as well. But instead, I'm going to just start with uh, opening this in Photoshop. Okay, so I've got the image in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out. We're at 66.7%. So this is the actual size of the image. Now, in order to make this file size smaller, I'm going to use the Photoshop Save for Web and Devices function. And as you can see, I have the quality set fairly low at 19. Now, if you can handle that quality, then you've got only 17K bytes, which is about one-fifth of the file size that she's currently got on her website. You might want the quality to look a little better in which case what we do here in this little Photoshop applet is we just raise the quality and as the quality gets raised we can also see the file size going up here to 28.9 if I want it to be absolutely best quality it's going up to 124 which is to me really huge for a web page so I'm personally I wouldn't be concerned about you know where the quality is absolutely the highest on something like this I would probably settle for say 24 K over here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save that and then we'll look at both of them oops I have to rename it or else I'll replace that one so I'm just gonna go slimmed down okay and we'll save that okay so now I've done that I'm gonna open this so now this is the original 
and this is the the slim down one so let's go back and forth original slim down original slim down I personally I don't see one bit of difference in the picture itself but the difference is the number of bytes you're downloading in fact I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change this to even smaller size just by bringing the quality back down like way down to say tw 10 I'm gonna put it to 10 now the image is only 16 K bytes okay that's that's really one-fifth of the size of the image that she has on the website right now so I'm gonna go ahead and find the slim down just replace that now we'll go back and look in the, uh, in the image viewer again there's the original there's the slim down original slim down I don't see a bit of difference in that but the file size is tiny now if you want to speed up your web pages and Google does um, rate you on how fast your web page loads so this is super important you need to do this with your images if you got like this image and it's taken up 75 K bytes that's that's huge that's a huge file size it takes a long time to load so what you need to do is just slim down your images the way I showed you now let me see if I can find an online resource for you to do this if you don't have Photoshop hold on okay so I did a uh, did a, just a little searching on Google with the word on the keyword online JPEG reducer and you see a whole bunch of them there's JPEG reducer free online JPEG cruncher JPEG optimizer reduce images online resize images online reduce JPEG file size online there's a plethora of online tools I think they're free I'm gonna let you do the research on that but um, they're out there for you so you understand this concept and how important it is to uh, to your website to have your pages load fast your images load fast and if you go to a website and you see the image like load really slowly in fact just like goes line by line down the page until it finally loads you know that image is way too big and I just showed you how to make it tiny and how to make it load fast and I also want to say thanks so much to Rashida for letting me <laughs> make a little example out of this actually this is what it looked like before we fixed the conflict so we reload it today and those images are going to come in just fine they're still going to be slow until she fixes the file sizes the way I showed you but um, at least they're coming in and there they are okay so that's my lesson for today I hope that you get something out of this if you never heard of this before believe me it's super important and we've been doing this since 1996 <laughs> so you need to learn this today okay so thanks for watching my video I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making it and I'll talk to you soon as Hugh out